A central Arkansas woman is finally getting a safer home, and it's all thanks to a bill she couldn't afford to pay. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10 on Bob Claus, and Ashley has the evening off. As Caregiver for Susan L. Corey explains, the volunteers helping her now say that there's more work that needs to be done, but Susan, they are getting a lot behind them. Yeah, this all started with an ER bill. We're keeping that hospital employee anonymous, but instead of collecting the debt, they came out to 82-year-old Virginia Claxton's house, and what they saw was dangerous. A leaky roof, sheetrock that's crumbling, and old wiring. That worker put out a call for help on Facebook, and Claxton says the timing couldn't have been better. Doodly -doo -doo. It's the small things <laughs> she likes me to dance with her that bring Virginia Claxton the most joy. Nighty night. Moments she can truly enjoy knowing her home is finally going to be safe. I've never had a gift like this before in my life. Somebody that cares enough strangers I have never seen that will come in. For the 82-year-old, this is more than just a house. I refuse to go. I love Jacksonville. It's the home she bought with her late husband and somewhere her son, who was battling cancer, tried to help her fix up. He passed away and financially I wasn't able to get nobody out here. Claxton thought she could live through the disrepair until last week. I heard a big crash and the whole roof came down. That whole thing would have come down and killed me and my little bird. Thanks to a stranger who called to collect an unpaid bill and a Facebook post, a small team of contractors and building suppliers came to help. He just called and said, boys, you know, y'all not getting paid today. We need to go do this. Contractor Harold Parker called it one of the worst roofs he's seen. We took the whole roof off, the rafters and all. Now that problem is getting fixed, but his crew found more work inside. She's got some serious electrical problems there that needs to be addressed. He's hoping to get more volunteers on the job. We, we had a good time. As she's already gotten more help than she dreamed of. This is the greatest thing that ever happened to me in my life. That wiring is a fire hazard, so before crews can finish up the ceiling, they need an electrician to come in and fix that. Again, all the work done through donations, the lumber and building supplies were from a local store, and of course the crews put in all of their work at no cost. I'll have a full list of everyone who's pitched in up on our website.